Hello there and welcome back. Today we have Adobe Illustrator Zigzag Effect. My name is Marie, I'm a graphic designer and let's get into today's tutorial. The zigzag effect in Adobe Illustrator is a great way to create wavy or jagged edges on paths. This is how to use it. Let's start by creating a line. I'm going to use the pen tool and click once on the artboard and then click again to create a straight line. Now I'm going to make a dragged copy by selecting the line, dragging down while holding Alt, and then Control D and Control D to make two more copies. I'm going to leave the first line without effect, and then I'm going to select the second line and go to Effect up here, and then Distort and Transform, and select Zigzag. Here, a dialog box will pop up with the following options. First of all, we're going to make sure that the preview box is checked, so we have a preview of our effect. First of all, we have size, and this is the what controls the height of our waves. So you can increase it to make the waves higher, or like this, or decrease it to make them lower. Also, related to the size options, we have absolute, which is what is selected, and that goes by measurement, or we have relative, which is if you want to increase or decrease by percentage. As you can see here, I'm going to leave absolute, which is in centimeters, but you can change that to inches, pixels, or whatever measurement you like. Then we have ridges per segment, and this is how many peaks per path or segment we want to add. So for example, here we have four, and this does not count the first and ending point. It just counts the uh, points of the ridges that is added. So obviously, the higher the number of ridges per segment, the more zigzag we will have, and the lower, the less. And then last we have points. This is corners like I have that are pointy or smooth which makes more of a wave effect. So I'm going to go ahead and put corners, OK. And then I'm going to select this third line. I'm going to go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Zigzag. Now this time I'm going to do the exact same thing only I'm going to put smooth as the points so we have more of a wavy effect. So now that we have both the zigzag effect examples, we have the corner here and underneath we have the smooth. So if I select this uh, corner line, you can see that we still see the straight line which we've applied the effect to. So it's still modifiable. So if you select the line, go to appearance panel, you can see here the zigzag effect. By clicking on it, you can open the panel again and change any options you like. See? And then you just push OK and your modifications will be applied. You can turn off the eye icon to turn off the effect and turn it back on to see the effect. So now that we have a basic knowledge of the zigzag effect, I'm going to delete this uh, fourth line here because we don't need it. And I'm going to show you that you can also apply the zigzag effect to paths, shapes, or text converted to outlines. So let's create a square using the shape tool. And I'm going to duplicate it twice just so we can see the original and then both of the zigzag effects. I'm going to select the second square, go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Zigzag. And here, as you can see, the zigzag effect is applied to our square. You can change the size, as before, and the ridges per segment. You can make them higher or lower, and you can increase or decrease the size. And same as before, you can make it smooth or corner. So this first one, I'm going to put smooth. And now we're going to go to Effect, 
distort and transform on our third square zigzag effect and this time we're gonna apply the corner just so we can see the two different zigzag effects applied to a square and our, our original square as well. See this is the difference between a normal square, a corner, and a uh, smooth. And as before, you can still modify the effect as long as you do not expand appearance by just selecting the square, going to appearance, selecting the zigzag effect, the panel will open, and here you can modify any options. Now, just for the purpose of this video, we're going to do one more shape, and it's going to be the circle. So I'm going to select Ellipse Tool, create a circle, and then I'm going to make a dragged copy and Control D to create a second copy. And I'm going to select one of the circles, go to Distort and Transform, Zigzag Effect. And here you can see that with the corner, we kind of get a, a star shape. And then with this second circle, I'm going to go to zigzag and apply the smooth effect. And here we get kind of like a uh, splatter shape. And this is the zigzag effect for you. Very simple, very interesting, and you can do very cool stuff with this. Now, as I was saying, once you've applied the effect and you know that you do not want to modify it anymore, you can select it and go to Object, Expand Appearance, and now it's created its own shape with its own anchor points that you can modify any way you like. But the effect will no longer be uh, editable anymore. You can uh, fill the color to any color you like or you can change the stroke color thank you for watching make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our newest videos we have all sorts of adobe illustrator effects tutorial coming out and also we have our merch down below so check that out and if you like it let us know or make a purchase to support our channel thank you for watching again and see you in the next tutorial ciao